Hi everybody, today I am bringing you a pre-performance warm-up routine. It is follow along, so feel free to press play as you are warming up before your performance. Uh, and it incorporates everything, a little bit of abs, a little bit of feet, everything. Uh, you guys wanted this, so I'm happy to oblige. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I want you to do, and this is where you need to pause the video, is to stretch. Whatever stretches you like doing before a class, before a show, not overkill. Don't, you know, do your splits and rip your hamstrings. But if you do some hip work, some calf work, go ahead and pause this video and do whatever stretches you like to do to get your muscles going. And then join me on the floor for abs. Okay guys, so the first thing I always do before performance is some core work. It gets those muscles engaged and it actually starts to build heat in your body to help you warm up faster in everything else. The other thing I recommend is putting on as many warm ups as you like. I have two things of leg warmers on, sweater. The more warm ups you wear, the faster your muscles are gonna get warm and it doesn't require that much effort. So stack on those warm ups. So we're gonna do Pilates five series. So rolling down, feet comes into the chest. Let's just put the feet on the floor, getting those abs engaged. Let's just put the hands behind the head to start and just go up and down and up and down. One more just to find that stomach and down. Good. Feet come in, head comes up. Let's switch one leg, then the other leg. Switch and switch. Don't have to do a lot of these. We don't want to wear our bodies out. This is not the time to do a workout. This is just the time to get those abs going, to get that core going, so you can easily warm up for your performance. Two more, and bring it in. Both legs in and out with the arms, and bring it in. Very hard to talk and do this. Both legs out, and in, and out, and in. Good, just four more like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is just about getting those abs warm. In, out, and in. Last one, good. Scissors, so straight leg and switch. Switch, I'm really starting to get warm. Again, I got my warm ups on, just doing some abs. Switch, good, you've already stretched, so those muscles are ready. Good, two more like this. Last one, good, let's get those lower abs engaged. Lower the head, lower the feet, come back up. Just so long as you can keep the back flat. Down and up and down and up. Four more, three, starting to get warm, two, good, last one. Coming back up, last thing, hands behind the heads, crisscross, let's just criss and cross, good. Keep breathing, getting those obliques to go, good. Four, three, two, and one. Good, head comes down and relax, excellent job. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is if you have a TheraBand, grab it. We're just gonna do a little foot warm up. Again, nothing crazy. The whole point of warming up before a show is just enough to get your muscles going, but not to tire you out. So just grab your TheraBand. If you don't have one, you actually don't need it. You can do it without. Just we're gonna point and flex 10 times. So point and flex and two, good. Three, again, just activating the muscles not trying to tire ourselves out. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leave it pointed, just toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. That's all. Other foot. If you want more feet, I have a whole pre-class foot worm workout I will put in a card and in the box below if you guys feel you need more. But again, I wouldn't recommend too much. There goes my little football. So, <laughs> football, anyway. Here we go, other side, just point flex. One and up and two, going to 10, three, four, five, six, through those feet, seven, eight, nine, 
10, leave it pointed, just toes, toes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Your feet should start to feel like, oh, hello, good morning. Take a tennis ball, if you have it. We're gonna roll out just a little bit to get our muscles going. So we're gonna roll out the calves first, place it right under your calf, and just get into that calf wherever you need it. If you find a sticky spot, you can bounce that leg. Just trying to get those calf muscles to open a little bit, to get them going. Guys, I made the mistake of before a performance of Sleeping Beauty of over warming up. And by the time I got out there, two minutes in, my legs were gone. So the key with warming up for performances is just activating. You know, this is not about a full class. As you're gonna see in a minute, we're gonna do some ballet warm up. It's not a full class. It's just a couple of tendus, a couple of degages. Uh, it's really all you need. So let's do the other calf. If you need longer rolling out your muscles, please feel free to pause this video and spend as long as you need getting into those calf muscles, getting them loose. What I like to do is roll out before I do my ballet warm up so the muscles are not already tight. You know, you wanna relax them, loosen them up, and then the ballet activates them. You don't wanna start with really, really tight calves. It'll just make them even tighter and not be any fun at all. So getting into those calves, again, if you need more time, pause this video. So let's come onto our side, put that tennis ball under your hip, getting into that hip, opening out those turnout muscles. Good. Roll around, find that sticky spot. Trust me, you'll see it. I did this in my latest ballet hacks video, which I'll link for you guys. Good breathing. Again, pause if you need to. Let's go to the other side. So, right here, getting into that hip. This is just gonna let those hips open, let those turnout muscles relax, so then you can warm up and you can get into a real loose feeling for your performance. Good, okay, again, pause if you need to. Now we're gonna stand up and roll out our feet. All right, the very last thing we're gonna do before we do our ballet warm up is roll out our feet. Again, this is part of that pre-class foot workout. So if you have a little ball, dog toy, golf ball, whatnot, put it under that foot and get right where you need it. Again, like the other rolling out, this is gonna allow your feet muscles to relax and open so you can get them warm. The worst feeling on stage is when your feet feel so tight, you can't feel your shoes, you can barely point your feet. That's the feeling we want to avoid. So you really wanna roll out those feet, I recommend doing this on a regular basis before every class so it becomes part of your routine, second nature to you, etc. I really couldn't ever do a ballet class without rolling out my feet. So I'm gonna go to the other side. Again, if you need more time, pause the video. That's the beauty of YouTube. Pause, come back when you're ready. Um, really get under those toes and those metatarsals. That's where we can start to cramp, especially in point shoes. And sometimes even like high demi point doesn't work. This is where you wanna roll out. Get into those feet. Get into those feet. Good, okay, again, pause if you need to. Let's move on to the ballet warm up. Okay, by now you should feel warm. By now you should feel ready to do the ballet bits. And like everything else, we're just gonna do enough not a lot. So it's just, just to get everything activated and going. So let's just do Demi. One and two and three and four. Plie rolling up to releve. Six, seven and eight. Grand plie and two, up three and four. Another little rise. Find your balance. Tendu second. We're going to stretch at the end. One and two, three and four, plie releve, seven and eight, grand plie, two, three, four, little press, test that balance, there are those abs, close to fifth. Same thing in fifth, immediately soutenu, just fifth on the other side. We don't need to do first and second again. So first, second, fifth, soutenu, fifth. So one more time, demi, demi, 
plie releve, plie stretch, grand plie all the way down, a little rise, immediately do the fifth on the other side, come back to first, parallel, stretch over, good eight counts, coming back up, back to first, roll it back, coming up, then into the bar, all the way side, and away, getting into those side muscles, and then up to first, find your balance. So first, second, fifth, new fifth, come back to first, parallel, front and back, side and side, balance in first. Okay, so for a tendu, let's do tendu and flex. Turn it in, turn it out, tendu, plie, tendu, back to first. That's all. One, flex, rotate in, rotate out, tendu through the foot, plie second, tendu back to first. One, flex, turn it in, turn it out, tendu, plie, tendu first. Flex, turn it in, turn it out, tendu, plie, tendu first. Come to fifth, this time, Balance in susu, since we did not do that yet. Yeah? So one, two, find the rotation for tendu, plie, back to first. All the way around, close fifth, balance in susu.
Okay, now for a tie in fifth, let's do one plie and a one, two pas de cheval, enveloppe, all the way around. One plie, one and two pas de cheval, enveloppe, plie. That's all. One, two, just getting it all in there, enveloppe. Last time, one, two, enveloppe, and pas de cheval, then enveloppe, plie. Immediately soutenu to the other side. Moving straight to fifth for dégagé, all we're going to do is a pattern of three and five. Three, one, two, three, side, one, two, three, four, five, three to the back, five side, three, four, five, then five to the front, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five, four, five, one, two, three. Three. So it's three, five, three, five, five, three, five, three. Getting those inner thighs warm, using those feet, it's not too fast. Yeah? Three front, five side, three back, five side, five front, three side, five back, three side. Okay, now we're going to do rond de jambe and fondue together. So, starting in fifth, plie one to the back, chasse through to fourth, three and four, rond de jambe, five and six and seven and eight, dégagé front, fondue, dégagé side, fondue, four counts, big double pay arabesque, six, six, tendu, seven, and eight. So one with plie, through first, chasse back, chasse front, five and six and seven and eight. Dégagé, fondue, next direction, fondue. This time it comes up through passe, big double pay front, six, tendu seven and eight. One more time. One, and two, chasse front to tendu, chasse back to tendu, rond de jump, and six, and seven, and eight, dégagé front, fondue, side, fondu. four counts, big double pay arabesque, six, tendu, seven, and eight. Reverse it, then take this opportunity to do your circle port de bras, circle port de bras, Chasse into the bar, all this stuff, whatever you want to do. You have a couple eights, stretch, back, maybe planche, whatever you need. Just end with passe balance. 
Here we go. All right, very simple frappe, just again, get those feet working. We're gonna do two each way. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Double en croix, two, three, four, petite, bat ma, that is all. So two each way. Singles, you have a lot of time. Five, six, seven, eight. Double each way. Two, three, four, petite, Ha, 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 ha. Close it fifth, coup de pied back, 
coupe, balance with the arms in fifth. Yeah, two each way, double each way, petite pot mall, close at fifth, coupe back, balance. Okay, now I want you to just do 16 swings in attitude. Start tondu back and just swing. Attitude, attitude, attitude. 16 of them. Sutanu, other side. Okay, the last thing we're going to do, you can either do this on point or on flat. So if you're going to put your point shoes on, pause, put your shoes on, come back. If not, we're just going to do plie, relevé, lower straight leg, come up. Plie, relevé, lower straight leg, come up. Two plie relevés, find your balance, tendu second. This is just to get your calves going. Plie, relevé, lower straight, come up. Plie, Relevé, lower straight, come up. Two plie relevés, your calves should be nice and warm by now. Little balance. And then, if you like, one foot, parallel or turned out, doesn't matter. Plie relevé straight, plie relevé straight, two plie relevé, balance, other foot. All right, you guys, that's it. Go put your costume on, go feel the stage, go do whatever you need to do. But I hope this warmed you up. I certainly feel warm having done this. This is also great to do right before a rehearsal if you need that extra pump to get warm for your rehearsal. Doesn't take that long. You can modify as you need, like I said. Let me know if you like this. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want more videos like this or any other requests, leave me a comment. You guys know I really try and listen to every request you give me. If you missed my video on the news of the Katherine Morgan Scholarship, it's right down there. You can click it to watch. You have until 29th of this month to apply. So go watch it. Film yourself. Apply. It's real easy. And I can't wait to help one of you guys. Love you so so much and I will see you on Friday.